Scratches sound like when you're 40,000 feet in the air. That's a word up. I was feeling that track right there. Prime Minister just got done ripping up the turntables, get his cut on. Now we're gonna talk to him for a minute. Uh, just tell everybody out there where you're from, what you're all about, Prime Minister, what you get into out there uh, as far as DJing goes and stuff. Uh, I'm DJ Prime Minister, uh, reside from the Detroit area, uh, Southfield in the house. What's up? But, um, my art form, I'm, I'm pioneering this art form called Scratch Tracknology. It's actually the art of putting scratches to track uh, to convey a message. And I'm an artist. I'm, I guess I'm like one of the first artists that that represented represents himself through that art form. It's like I can express myself any about anything with scratches. So uh, we're gonna hear some more more uh, cuts from Prime Minister's recorded stuff. He's, he's saying with his cuts, hopefully you can hear the message that he's he put forth to you through the scratches. But I got a couple other questions. Is there any, I, I was talking about, to you about this earlier, but is there any other like crews or, or uh, affiliations you got going on? Or? Uh, well, um, um, Enterprise Conglomerate is our record label uh, slash crew family. Uh, artist uh, by the name of Foul Fly, he just recorded a verse on Big Tone's album. Big Tone is like a renowned artist in Detroit. Um, unique out in Phoenix, um, he's an MC, uh, promising up and coming, and uh, myself. So we're working together. Alright, say that website one more time so everybody can check it out. EconMusic.com, that's E-C-O-N-M-U-S-I-C com. How much you practice, like how did you start getting into the whole like scratch art and like turntablism in general because this is a turntablism show so tell all the people how you got involved in that stuff um i was inspired whoa it goes back um i would say like my main inspirations were from uh dj jazzy jeff growing up listening to him and uh dj premier and gangstar and they really influenced me to go out and buy some dj equipment and start cutting and making beats and stuff like that so you said that you, you got your first setup or something like 94? Yeah. Yeah, see, Prime Minister been doing it for a little while. You can tell by the way he brings forth the music. Thanks. And, and uh, you, got, you got any questions from my man, Prime Minister from Mario? He's, he's going to help me out on the internet. Yeah, here's my man, Virus. Yo, what up, man? It's a pleasure to meet you finally. I, I've been hearing about you in the battle circuits and all that. So, what, what's up with all that? Are you continuing that? Are you going to stick to the music aspect? or? I'm gonna get into all of it, but right now I'm focusing on the scratch tracks, uh, the scratch technology aspect of it. I feel like that's uh, an art form that'll contribute to turntablism and help help it expand in different ways, you know. And uh, I, I feel like the turntablism is constantly growing, and I really want to con contribute to it. So, I I, uh, I came across I think it was a MySpace um, yeah. kind of thing, and that's where I actually kind of got a first ear to some of the stuff you were making. How's that uh, coming around with like the feedback? It's coming along great. Um, it's surprising. At first, I just did the songs for myself. I was like, I had, I felt like I had something to say, but I couldn't rap. So, but I could scratch. So I was like, I'm just gonna scratch it, and you know, I'm just gonna do it like that. And if people like it, they do. If they don't, you know. So um, I just brought it to the people, and I got good feedback. And I sold, I've sold a lot of records so far too, so got a good thing going, so I'm just gonna stick with it. So, so when did you actually like get into the battle scene? Because it wasn't until recently I started hearing your name. Ah, that was like recently, like the last <laughs> couple of years. Okay. Because there was no way, like with, with my art form and what I'm doing, there was no way to really just get out and perform it and bring it to the public. So I was like, I have to make a name for myself as, as a turntablist, so I just entered in some battles and it's cool. It's cool. It's, um, there's there's some promising turntablists out here in Michigan. You know, if they just stay focused and you know they can they can get to that level. Yeah. This prime minister in full effect on 88.3 WCBN. This is scratching. Ah, here we go. Hey yo, 
We got my man Russell Jones and Kim Tragic all the way from Toledo came down. We've had a few scratch sessions with these guys before, but we had to bring them into the studio to rock it on 88.3 with a bunch of the Midwest DJs. We got about eight of them in the place to be tonight. My name's Erwin Plus, just doing this local independent underground hip-hop show that I do every week from midnight till three. What's going on, Tragic and Russ? You guys in there? Give me a mic check. Hey, what up? Mic check, mic check. I, I can I can barely hear check. myself. So we're gonna we're gonna get the level up in a second here. We got mic level master coming here. But uh, check it out. Hey, Russ, tell us about that 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 track that we just heard. That's a rapper that I'm working with. Uh, his name's Billy Blade, and he did a whole CD. And he met me at our Monday night underground night, Long Tradition in Toledo. He would do the open mic, and I would be checking his stuff and just be like, "This kid's dope." He would see me cutting. He'd be like, "This kid's dope." So we got together and um, got in the studio. And within a week, we had a few tracks cut down, and that's about it. Nice. There it is. Russell Jones getting busy on the turntables earlier, cutting it up. We got my man King Tragic in the place. Toledo DJs in the house. Yeah. Tell us, uh, tell us a little about uh, the Toledo scene and, and introduce you guys. Introduce yourself. Tell everybody what's up with Toledo. The Toledo scene is small, but um, like it shows, it's a lot of promise, I think. And uh, like we roll in a yeah, tight knit right. crew. We got DJs that uh, you know do turntablism, uh, produce, make hip hop beats, um, some that graffiti, and um, like uh, as far as I know, I think uh, I think I'm the oldest still in the scene. I've been uh, spinning since like about '86, '87. That's when I got '87. That's when I got serious about it and. Never looked mm -hmm. back, man. It's you know, just took it in, man. That, that's kind of how. That's kind of how you and I connected, right? Because we we started at the same time. We started building. We're about the same age. Started doing the same stuff, into the same cuts. Yeah. And, and we just like it was cool when we first met. Cause I met you all on Adrian, right? Yeah. Is, is yeah. that how we connected? Yeah. yeah. And then uh, and then yeah, from there yeah. I was visiting you guys in Toledo and checking out the B Boys and the graffiti yeah. and like and then we just connected. We like scratched for hours for all y'all that like <laughs> wonder how you get good. It's like we're we're scratching for hours and and we used to practice with like four other DJs and it would just be me and Tragic in the end four or five hours later still cutting right. still doing it. It always came down to me and you. <laughs> <laughs> I was that dude on the couch after like two hours. I was just like taking in these guys. I was like, I can't hang for more than two hours. Yeah, and these guys are killing it. Hey, I, got, I, got some, I got some of that stuff on video. I found it. I got some stuff with me, Babber, you, in his basement, in your basement, down in my basement, Erwin in effect too. I got all that stuff on video, man. I got some history, man. Uh, well, hey, introduce this track here, and then we're going to grab this CD and play it on, uh, on the show here. All right, the track that's gonna um you're gonna hear it is from me. It's about it's probably about a year, year and a half old. It's called Funky Armpits, and um it's uh I'll give you a little hint. It's a little bit of like Indian music type stuff, and I played the drums live, not with a drum set, but with a drum machine. I played the drums live over the beat and dropped some cuts to it. It's really dope. Alright, there you go. King Tragic, Funky Armpits, about to play it. Underground Reciprocals, local independent underground hip hop. We got the Turnstile Showcase going on. We got a man virus in the place, Prime Minister, Russell Jones, King Tragic. We got Wave in the place, Alf One, and I'm Erwin Plus.